Hello my lovely viewers. It is a quiet Friday night in for me since this is the first week of classes and I just thought I'd, you know, like to have a nice cool down from this week and just relax a bit. I started watching 47 meters down. I thought you guys might appreciate my commentary during this. So in the beginning when I first watched this movie, I sent on a Snapchat. If you guys do follow me on Snapchat, you see it there. We're just about to watch 47 meters down. These girls are gonna die. All right. I got my stupid diving license when I was 12. Yes, I need to go back and get a refresher course since I unfortunately haven't been able to scuba dive in the last few years, which is really sad, but I got caught up with college and everything, so that's what happens. These girls, first off, if you ever do decide to go in one of these shark cages, something like this, please do get certified. With Patty, with any of the other scuba diving uh, instructors that I have out there, Patty is the one that I went through and I love it. Do it. Look, scuba diving is absolutely amazing. I love going into the ocean and seeing all these gorgeous creatures. You know, depending where, where you are, sometimes you just see not so colorful fish and other creatures, but you know what? It's still amazing that you can go there and you can see all this in a relatively natural environment. It's amazing. But guys, you, you need to get certified or at least have a certified scuba diver with you. If not a master scuba diver with you or an instructor with you before you decide to do something like this, like these girls who decided that, hey, we're in Mexico. Let's go and do this and for a relatively cheap price, which is, you know, pretty decent price down there, but not scheduled through the resort. Yes, I understand. Road resorts are known for, you know, jacking up their prices, but hey, they also make sure that everything is safe. Also, if you don't know the language, you should probably make sure that you have somebody with you who you can trust, who does know the language and can translate for you. Because uh, these girls did not, and uh, I speak a relatively good amount of Spanish, and these guys were talking about them saying, oh, they're essentially stupid Americans, you know, oh, you know, they're going down there in the ocean, like, oh, no, they don't know anything, they're, they're stupid Americans. And then she was just like, wait, what? Wait, what did you say? Girl, hmm, pick up a little bit of Spanish before you fly down. No matter what country you're in, it's always nice to know a little bit, like just enough to say, hey, I need help. Where's the hospital? Where's the bathroom? And how to order things in um, that native language. That being said, we're gonna watch the rest of this movie and I will tell you guys how I feel about this. <sighs> These idiots are wearing watches. You really shouldn't wear a flashy watch when you're underwater because sharks will think, oh, Hello food, or barracuda for that instance, they all think, oh, hello food. Don't. Also when you're underwater, don't thrash around and don't breathe too quickly. Because the faster you breathe, the faster you run out of air. I can test that personally because my both my parents scuba dive. Uh, my dad sucks oxygen like crazy. My mom doesn't as much, so they usually end up sharing a tank towards the end of the dive because my dad will have run out of his quickly, so he just grabs the other octopus and he's like, here, honey, <laughs> take it. And then the center going, I forgot to breathe. Again. <gasps> okay. These girls would definitely have the bends by the end of this. Uh, the bends or decompression sickness occurs when you don't equalize, essentially. Um, nitrogen will build up in your system and it can actually kill you, uh, which is why it's not recommended to fly after you've scuba dive for, I think it's at 24, they might have changed it uh, recently, but I think it's 24 to 72 hours uh, after you've scuba dived. So these are all the way that they, they just shot down into the bottom of the, well, the bottom of the ocean, 47 meters down. <laughs> Pull back to the title. Um, they would definitely have events. Besides the way that they're going up right now, now, you, you have to equalize. There's different ways to equalize. One, you know, of course, is the usual, you hold your nose and you blow out your to your ears. Other ways, you tilt your head back and you swallow. It's to pop your ears, essentially. <sighs> Got 54 minutes of this left. Ah, look at my big baby.
Yes, because sharks are only there based on your sounds. It's not also your movement. No. The boat left them. Okay guys, when you're scuba diving, you know you're gonna be there with sharks. A not so bad idea would be to bring a giant stick that's about, you know, not that long or so, like that thick or so. Um, I'd say about roughly your wingspan. Well, maybe less than half of your wingspan, somewhere around there. Uh, with stripes around it, like black and white stripes, would be a good idea because that uh, to sharks, to most sharks at least, looks like a sea snake. And sea snakes are actually very poisonous to sharks, so they don't they don't want to eat them. And they will go away from them. So it might not be a bad idea to do that if you know you're gonna be in an area with sharks. Depending on the shark. For nerf sharks, honestly, if you mess with them, they will mess with you, but in most cases they're just like, cool. You're another fish. Go away. But for things like, you know, the vicious sharks, the tiger sharks. And, you know, I, okay, I suppose that everybody's so scared of the great white sharks, but bull sharks, are, honestly, are the ones that you should be looking out for. Um, all right, hammerheads, I will admit, my awkward children um, can be a little vicious. Just be smart. Just be smart about these things, guys. Wrong. Not just in the brain. Anywhere that you have muscle. If they actually make it, I'll be very surprised. One of the guys is already dead. Spoilers. Hey guys, we're really not that tasty. Seriously, we, we're really not that tasty. Most sharks will get a bite out of us and go, oh, no. And they'll be done. Most sharks are different just because they'll, they will literally eat anything, including license plates. <laughs> So what I'm getting from this movie essentially is don't be stupid. Listen to the resort thing because otherwise you're gonna have to deal with crazy things and hopefully the ending won't be the way that it was for these people. That being said, wow, what an ending. Guys, just, just be smart, especially when you're on vacation. Just stick with what the resort has um, if you have people that down there already that you can trust, still be careful. And usually the resort does have the best options in mind for you guys. Yeah, they might be pricier, but they're safer in the long run. So, yeah, 47 meters down. Th they have to have the bends, at least. <sighs> If you guys did enjoy the movie, great. Glad you do. The sharks, I'll keep my own opinion to myself because you never know, maybe I might be wrong and there might be some great whites out there that are very much for devouring people. To my knowledge, no, but hey, you never know. Hope you guys had a great Friday. See you guys next time.